Hi everyone, welcome to another series of make block and m board project. Now, today we are trying, we are going to do a very simple project, right? This is the third in a series. We are trying to, we are going to use the m board. Now, this is the m board, right? The m board is actually the two wheel robot with several sensors, external sensors attached to it. One here is the ultrasonic sensor, right? On the bottom, is an infrared sensor used for line following or line tracing and inbuilt into the the brain itself the brain is the arduino board inside there is a light sensor right okay now we're going to do a very simple project today how to gather information right using the sensors at its survey its surrounding and with this information, it's going to relay back to the make block, right? And we're going to create a program to extract this information and make the sprites say out the value that it has detected, right? Okay, now, if you look at this screen here, okay, now you see there's a M block icon here, now. If you click on it, right, this is what's going to appear. Alright, just give me a minute. Now you click on okay. This is what is going to appear after you click on it. Okay, now I have already a pre-existing program, so already created, but I'm going to erase that right by creating a new project okay now there are two things <clears throat> there are two learning points a few learning points here for this project one is to learn something about sensors sensors are input right now the other thing you want to learn about is how to create a variable now what's a variable a variable is a temporary storage space okay for a number or text all right so at any point in time this variable is like a container it only contain one information now as the information get updated the previous information will be erased right the information can be in text or can be in numbers in this case if you are using the input of the ultrasonic sensor right which is measured in distance right and the light sensor which is measured by an arbitrary value all right from zero all right to i guess the value should be around 155 right let's see later what is the value sorry it's a 1028 right 1028 or about 1000 okay that is the value of the light sensor that is input that it gathers from the surrounding all right now all these are numbers so the variable created will be stored at number values okay now we're going to do two things one is a couple of things sorry now we need to create a variable now we're going to measure light so we're going to go to variable right okay create a variable called light value light value okay light let me spell it light value and after that we are going to apply for all sprites okay and we create a okay right now after you make previously if you have noticed under variable block there is nothing variable need to be created now i created one variable called light value now light value because i want to use the light sensor to detect and store that light value into this light sensor variable now the other sensors that i'm going to teach here is the ultrasonic sensor now let's go back and see where is the ultrasonic sensor where is the ultrasonic sensor just a minute okay never mind we will just create make another variable called ultra 
Okay, since ultrasonic sensor distance distance, we will create a variable called distance value. Okay, right after that, click OK. Same thing, apply for all sprites. Press OK. Now you see now that there are two variables being created distance value and light value. Right now, let me go back and show you where the the light sense are uh, okay where the how do you measure distance all right you measure distance by this now it looks like two eyes right this component here one is a transmitter the other the receiver so whenever okay let's imagine this is the object a wall or object in front obstacle in front of the robot all right these ultrasonic sensor will be consistent at certain period of time interval it will be sending out a short burst of ultrasound right when they hit an object the sound will be reflected right and the receiver will receive the reflected sound and based on the then the circuit itself will calculate right based on distance and based on the time sorry based on the time of travel and the speed of sound it will calculate and give you the approximate distance and then it will display out okay now this is the ultrasonic sensor right now the other sensor is of course the light sensor which is built in uh, which you can't really see it you need to open this cover okay obscured because of the it's not very translucent so the light sensor is right in somewhere inside here right now we're going to use these two sensor right and gather input from the surrounding concerning the distance from an object from an obstacle and also the ambient light around the area all right all right now now after you have created distance and light the next thing is you need to okay now you realize that every time you open a new file or new project you would notice that some devices by default will appear all right now you can see this is Telo. Telo is a drone so we are not using the Telo. we can delete it right just click on the x the cross mark here the blue cross mark right click on it and we'll prompt you to whether you want to confirm so if you want to confirm just delete it right now after that you need to now we are using the m bot right to as an input right using its input uh, from the ultrasonic and the light sensor to gather the respective values and channel the information to the sprite to display okay now first you need to select the appropriate devices now don't be confused now we have sprite we have devices sprites are characters in the make block okay devices is actually the hardware that you're going to use to interface with the make block so now you notice that it's a plus the blue plus sign here now under this sign they ask you to add now just click on it and there is a whole bunch of gadgets or devices that you can choose to connect to right okay now notice we have Cody we have Ranger we have even Halo code right um, many many devices right devices or robots or electronic devices all right now we are at at this point or in this project we are doing this m bot so we will click on it make sure it's highlighted okay break down okay once you break down okay it will return you to this page here and you can see that the m bot is selected okay here is where the fun begins huh? now now i want the robot to 
take in information now first thing we'll concentrate on light that means we'll concentrate on the, the using the m board to collect light information and the sprite will display the light value or the sprite will say out the light value right now first we will go to control now how you're going to start now so sorry events now events can be started many ways by spacebar on the keyboard or by various buttons or tabs on the keyboard now i will choose spacebar now once i spacebar will start the program okay now what should you do now we've got collecting light right light is a sensor so we will bring go to the sensor block here this blue button here sorry this blue tab here or blue icon click on it and you would see a number of tabs that will appear like light sensor on board ultrasonic sensor line follower but we will be doing this too okay now we will first look at the light sensor now light sensor on board means that it is not external it is already built into the arduino controller right okay on the m board itself okay now take out this block okay now next remember just now the variable that we created now go to variable right take out this block here right now now next put out this block to the light sensor on board okay if too big i just shrink it down so that you can see the whole block now you notice that every time you write this block of code here it means that the robot is always pulling or gathering information from this light sensor and it is assigning the value to the distance value variable all right each time it picks up a new value it will store here all right it will store here it will store here all right now now we this has to be done continuously if you don't put the continuous it will just do one time and stop so you need to put, take out a control block forever and you want to do this forever okay now next now with this value with this value in the distant value block right it need to be relayed to the sprite now in this case i will be relaying to this panda sprite here okay this panda sprite here this panda okay so i will now with this value i will broadcast now I will broadcast broadcast is a communication between what you have input and now you're telling the sprite that i'm broadcasting to you and you're supposed to say it out say out this value right now we need to first create a broadcast called under i think it's under event broadcast a message now broadcast message message broadcast message okay it's up to the message destination is up to you but for me i would put it as say distance right sorry not say distance huh? not say distance it should be light value okay because we are using the light sensor to sense the value of the light and store it in the light value all right now next to a broadcast what should i broadcast what message now this message is very arbitrary all right it can be anything but best to describe it the best is to use a short phrase to describe what is this broadcast about for me, I will use 
I put it as a new message and I will say um, say like value okay like value okay then okay now they will broadcast now it will be continuous saying this because the like value always changes and it will always be broadcast now this is from the input side the input is the the section the part of the hardware that takes in the information and now it needs to broadcast to the sprite now let's go to sprite okay let's go to sprite now the sprite now will be receiving a message what message would it be receiving let's see on sprite okay sprite click on sprite notice just now we are on devices this devices is the hardware highlighted and it has this code right with this code when i press space it will be always it will start the program and it will be taking in information of the ambient light around the robot and then at each and it will be always assigning a, a continuous value to light value okay each time it takes in a value it will broadcast say light value but who will say it right the sprite will say it. this sprite is a panda so let's click on to sprite right now when you're on sprite you see that this panda here is being highlighted okay now this panda will receive say light value now on receiving this message it needs to who did the broadcasting the hardware which is the m -bot, which is on device is broadcasting right now the sprite will be receiving when it receive what should it do it will say now say it's a looks it's not a sound huh? because it's not physically or sounding out anything at all it's only that um, the sprite will say as a speech bubble right what does it say it cannot be hello it could be the variable known as light value okay now this is the first part that has been done now the next part is the communication is affected by the connection between the m bot right and the computer using a usb cable let me switch to the v to the live camera and show you what i mean right okay let me go here and then i will on the now you realize that this yellow here this is the connection right okay between the m board and okay and the cable connection to the computer right okay let me refer you back to the m board itself now after you make the connection you need to make sure that your devices is connected now how you do that now let's go to the i'm going to off my camera now let's go to this area here now go to devices now devices there are a bunch of there are some further information you need to scroll down right now you see here live now mine is connected right let's say i want to disconnect right okay it's not connected right so now i need to after i have uh connected the m the usb from the m board to the computer i need to connect it right now I need to go to live because this is live it's a real time data collection huh? you go to live now you can, of course you can go to upload but upload is something i will teach you later on is um, transferring of information from the m bot uh, from the the information or the code directly into the brain of the uh m bot all right now let's go to live now live 
I connect. No, you can show all connection, but I have only one yellow. Sorry, one port connection because uh, it's by the uh, USB cable, which is the yellow cable. No. Of course, you can, can connect by Bluetooth or 2.4G, but we are not going to cover that. We're going to use USB cable, right? which is, for my case, which is uh, detected at COM port 28. So I connect. Now, notice when I connect, you notice this green button comes out. They tell you it's connected. All right? Okay, it will stay there for a while, and then it will go off. Now, this is the part where your program is ready right and sorry your your connection is ready your software is ready and then it's time to play your codes now how do you do that now i play the code by starting with spacebar now let's say i press spacebar now notice what do you see no i'm going to expand this mode here right i'm going to expand this mode i'm going to expand this view here by clicking on here now you notice that you see the value here right nine three four what is this this is actually the ambient like right now let's say now i'm going to turn on my turn on the device sorry the camera okay turn on the camera and you notice that when i place my hand over the front part what do you see you notice that the value continue to fall why because my hand is actually blocking light from being captured by the light sensor that's why the value have dropped and some of you may wonder why is it fluctuating between 64 and 65 why doesn't it drop to zero well that's a very good question right no the one of the answer is that Okay, certain areas light may still be penetrating to my hand because I have gaps in between. But the main reason is because there is a light here, right? Which is generating the. Let's say I cover this, right? There's still some light. There's some value. Why is it not zero? It's because of this red light inside here that is being transmitted to the light sensor, right? Okay, once again, look at it. I cover it. it drop. Now, when I take off my hand, it's exposed to my surrounding area, which is very bright. So it's it's registering register register around 990, 980, right? Close to 1000. So the range of this light value varies from zero to 1000. Not. 1028 is 0 to 1000 okay now let me now the next exercise is to now create the same thing right by using the ultrasonic sensor right let me close this and let me turn off the camera now now you notice that we have now let's stop the program okay, stop the program now with the same method or what using what you have learned the only thing you need to change now is this we're going to use the ultrasonic sensor right now the ultrasonic sensor is this one here okay we're going to use this to detect the distance now no you do not need to write the whole code again all we need to do is right click okay let me turn off the camera right you need to right click here duplicate now one duplicate you have two 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 codes here now now if you duplicate means everything here will be exactly or what it is but the second one you just need to change two things one is the sensor right sensor dump it away and i change it to distance value now distance value will make use of which sensor okay now go to sensor block 
choose ultrasonic sensor 3 now the port is already preset right this is on port 3 let me show you what do you mean by port 3 now turn it on now you really see that the ultrasonic sensor is here now there is a cable from here right leading up to port 3 here if you can see port 3 there's a number 3 here this is port 3 that's what you mean right so the input from the ultrasonic sensor will go through the brain from port 3 okay now next now the broadcast value of course needs to be changed right now the broadcast now it should be saying something else right it should be say probably i will put it as say distance value right okay the description is up to you right all you need to do is just to tell the program that you need to broadcast to the sprite that's okay now now you don't want the same sprite to say the same thing you want another sprite to say the distance value so you can actually go to sprite right choose another sprite right choose another sprite add sprite okay i will add another animal right probably uh okay up to you i probably will choose uh this parrot here all right say okay all right and then Okay, parrot here, right? Now the parrot, let's space it apart. Okay. Right now. The panda is saying the what's the panda saying? The panda is saying the light value. Now the parrot should be saying the right the parrot should be saying right when the event what event when I receive stay distance. So it should be showing a speech bubble that is saying, what does it say? Right? Something is a variable, right? No, you need to go to variable and choose distance value. Here, here's, you're done. Now, let's play the whole quotes again uh, now i'm going to magnify right okay and i'm going to turn on the video sorry the camera right the camera now is going to be turned on just a minute turn on okay now turn on okay too big now let's move the let's move the let's move a bit further to the right and then you probably would see the uh, see the better now next okay I will start now I start by pressing the space bar right press the space bar now you can see two values being read the parrot is reading one value which is actually the distance value right and the light value actually comes from the panda which i have showed just now now let's look at the distance value now now let's say i put my hand right across and close notice that the number will decrease right as as uh, shown by the speech bubble from the parrot now if i move my hand further away you know that it will increase Okay, so this is a distance value that the parrot is saying or showing. And if I put the other hand on top, right, this is a light value that the panda is showing. Alright, okay. So, that's it. This is the project on M block, M board using the light sensor and the distance that then sensor and the sprite will say the value uh, of the light surrounding the robot and also the distance the robot is sensing from the 
uh, obstacle or object itself okay now let me turn off let me go back to the main screen now of course um, you would maybe want to turn on the the last thing you may want to do is just create some um, let's create some background okay the of the canvas area or the the stage is very plain so let's let's uh, create a background okay no i'm going to stop again okay, stop and then i'm going to choose a background choose a background all right okay choose costume sorry not costume choose a background all right what background okay choose the appropriate background i will choose an outdoor probably uh, maybe in the forest all right it's a forest or maybe this forest here okay I press okay now that's a forest okay all right parrot in the forest so let's play it again i will press spacebar to start right okay distance change light change distance change light change okay all right that is the end of my tutorial for today uh, hope you enjoy it and learn something and you can use it to develop your own projects Okay, that's all for today. Um, see you in the next tutorial. Yeah. Bye.